Hi everyone and welcome to JSA TV where we are coming to you today from the floor of Tech Capital's International Finance Forum. I'm Barb Mitchell and I'm pleased to be joined today by Lara Stobanova, founder of Sigma Economics. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Delighted to be here on such a wonderful day and such a wonderful venue. It is absolutely a beautiful venue and, and the day has uh, just really gotten underway. But for our viewers who, who may not be familiar with your organization, would you mind telling us a little bit about it? Of course. Um, I'm the founder and managing director of Sigma Economics. We are a boutique business and economic consulting firm helping firms but also policymakers and governments shape the competition and regulatory environment they operate in. Our mission is very much about giving evidence-led insights to help with the strategic and tactical decision making in firms ranging from digital infrastructure to financial services to telecoms. And I, I understand that you may have some news that you're ready to share with us. Would you mind telling our viewers that latest news? Yes, of course. So we have very recently launched our virtual policy laboratory. And you're going to ask me, what does all that mean? Mm -hmm. It's basically a new platform that we use to undertake virtual experiments and also complex scenario analysis. What we basically do is we use complex and advanced mathematical and simulation techniques to understand how external factors might impact a business market and the firm's positions and risks within that. Actually, just this morning, we talked uh, about what are the risks facing a lot of the digital developments uh, this year. And obviously, we talked, uh, people already mentioned the Trump effect. So our technical solution would be able to help firms understand how government interventions, regulatory interventions, or economic shock might shape their industry and also the risks that they face. Hmm. Yeah, that, I mean, y you, uh, hit on a few things already and I mean you're right a, a lot uh, that's happening around demand in the industry but also how do some of the changes around government and regulation globally impact what are the what are some of the key trends that you're really seeing firsthand um, I've been working in the digital infrastructure and telecoms area for almost 20 years now. And what I can see now is that we are seeing a lot of significant and material digital developments. And what is actually very different now is that these technological developments are happening at a much faster rate. We have already talked uh, this morning about AI and its transformative power that will underscore a lot of sectors from health to automotive to financial services. And it's not only AI, but also requirements for cloud services or cloud computing or 6G. What will happen with this is that this will increase the demand for good quality comms networks, but also digital infrastructure and especially data centers, which is very much the topic of discussion today. And data centers provide a great opportunity for growth, which is kind of very important for the UK, but also for a lot of other global countries. But with that comes also challenges, and sustainability is a key challenge when we think about data center developments. So I'm happy to kind of expand more on that. Yeah, I mean, exactly, if you wouldn't mind. I mean, as, as you said, rightly so, all of this growth comes with it, certain impacts, and of course, first and foremost, the, I mean, not first and foremost, but one of the, the key areas is what is the impact on the planet and how do we manage this growth in a sustainable fashion? Can you comment on that? Yes, of course. I mean, this obviously, a lot of digital developments have a very important consequence on what I would call sustainability. And if we take, for example, data centers as an example, because they are kind of talked about a lot, is we know that they have environmental consequences, both at the stage of construction, but also operation. For example, we know that they can be quite energy and also water hungry. 
And obviously, when it comes to powering up a data center, there is going to be a lot of competition in the future in terms of data center development versus other technical developments, for example, electric vehicles, for example, cloud computing. So the question is, in such a competing environment, do we have enough energy? Do we have enough sustainable resources? And how can we make sure that all infrastructure development happens with, in a sustainable manner? In Given I'm a regulatory person by background, we have a saying in the regulatory sectors of having safety by design, and what I would like to perhaps see is sustainability by design being adopted when we do digital infrastructure developments, being data centers or something else. Very wise words, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Laura, very much for taking time out of this very packed agenda and very busy day here with Tech Capital to, to come and join us to say a few words. Thank you very much for having me and looking forward for the rest of the day as well. Thank you. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV, where we will continue to come to you today from the floor of Tech Capital's International Finance Forum. Until next time.